Mighty Ducks Game Changers is the latest original series to hit Disney+. Plus. Based on the 1990s Mighty Ducks film franchise, the series returns Emilio Estevez to the role of Gordon Bombay and co-stars Lauren Graham. Before we get into this, don't forget to hit that like button down below. It does wonders in getting my content out there. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to keep up to date with all my videos. Set in present-day Minnesota, the Mighty Ducks have evolved from scrappy underdogs to an ultra-competitive powerhouse youth hockey team. After 12-year-old Evan Morrow is unceremoniously cut from the Ducks, he and his mum Alex set out to build their own team of misfits to challenge the cutthroat win-at-all-cost culture of youth sports today. With the help of Gordon Bombay, they rediscover the joys of playing just for the love of the game. So something that I've been saying a lot of my videos recently, whether that be review videos or news videos or whatever, is, well, I'm a kid of the 90s, so... And it's kind of just hit me that I'm getting a bit old. Because all the stuff that I grew up with as a kid is now getting the reboot treatment. Uh, of course, there were three Mighty Ducks films in the 1990s. Strangely, they're not movies I really grew up with. I watched so many of the Disney live-action movies on repeat when I was a kid. I must have watched at least the first movie at least once. I don't know, I revisited them um, over this last week in preparation to watch this series and really didn't remember much. There were a few bits and pieces here. So I'm not one who is ultra connected to the Mighty Ducks. These weren't classics to me growing up, but again, I was aware of them and I'm aware of their legacy. So I was I was very really excited to jump into this, uh, especially because uh, Emilio Estevez it has returned in the role of Gordon Bombay, which is a really fantastic role. Now, Disney Plus provided uh, myself with the first three episodes of this series. I think it's a 10 episode series. It's gonna be a weekly series over the next number of weeks. And I've seen what is essentially like the first act. So the first three episodes of this kind of form like a really nice, a concise narrative arc. It was almost like watching a Mighty Ducks 4. And now I'm, I'm waiting for um, the rest of the sequels to come along. As you would expect with something like this, this is very uh, much a very formulaic show. It takes the formula of that original movie and updates it for the modern times. Um, essentially, Gordon Bombay is back in the role that he was in the first movie where he is down, he's out of his luck, and this hockey team wants him to come and coach them and he is very reluctant to do so. It's essentially the plot of the first movie, uh, particularly in these first three episodes that I've seen anyway. Um, but again, it, it, it is set in the modern day and there's some more modern complexities thrown in there. I mean, it's been like uh, almost 30 years, <laughs> way back, closer to 20 years since we've last seen uh, Gordon Bombay on the screen. And in between the, the Mighty Ducks 3 and now, he's gone through a lot. He has lost um, a lot of his uh, of his passion for hockey and sport. I don't blame that because I understand when you go into a reboot like this, you're rebooting it for a new, a fresh audience. You're essentially retelling the same stories, but in a different way. A lot of people have issue with reboots, reimaginings, these sequels and stuff that rehash old narrative threads and whatever else. I am not a, I'm not one to have a problem with that because I understand how we consume media and it's this same idea of how stories have been told over thousands of years stories get retold over and over again in different forms uh, depending on you know the era that you're living in so I understand that that's like a, the natural progression of storytelling um, so that said I think uh, the Mighty Ducks game changers is actually a really welcome series and what I've seen of it uh, so far I've really enjoyed and I'm I'm dying to see more of it. Again, I say that this is very similar, but it does move in new directions. Uh, the characters here are all really wonderful. All of the child actors in this are, are fantastic. Emilio Estevez is back on form as Gordon Bombay, and Lauren Graham uh, adds a really nice spark to the series as well. It's really nice to have like a female presence, especially to the level of Lauren Graham, because you didn't really get much of that in the original shows. A lot more is updated in this too, like the humour and the style of the piece is more modern. There is some really really kind of wacky out there humor, uh, slapstick stuff, whatever that you would imagine from a from a family show. It's not over the top or anything. It's certainly not as madcap and erratic as those original movies. You watch them now and they are very dated. They feel very 90s. The humor is so over the top and boisterous and bombastic and all that kind of stuff. It does get toned down in this new show. The humor is still there 
but it's really scaled down. And even the themes and stuff that this touch on, it's it not afraid to dive into some really dark territory. The original movies did go there. I mean, again, your character of Gordon Bombay was very down and out of his luck, especially in that first movie. But this show dives a little bit deeper into that. I think it's a really wonderful lens to put on this and it's really inspiring and um, I think I think especially kids are going to get a lot out of this because again this really is, this new group of kids is a band of misfits from all walks of life and I feel like there's going to be characters in here that just about anyone is going to be able to relate to and that I think is the real core of this show and it's heart and it's soul. Again I haven't seen the whole show, I've only seen three episodes but what I've seen so far I think I would say I actually enjoyed more than the movies. In a respect, even though this this is a sequel, it does very much feel like a, a reboot or a reimagining of the first movie. And I feel like it's almost a better version of it. People who do love those movies, who grew up with those as classics, might not find that this is better than those. I feel like there's going to be a whole lot of nostalgia bundled up with those original movies that nothing can eclipse them for you. But for me personally, as someone who doesn't have that huge connection and as someone who's just kind of wanting to watch this as a piece of entertainment and trying to look at it as its own kind of isolated thing, I think it works better. And I'm really enjoying it so far and I'm looking forward to seeing more of this. This series has really surprised me. Uh, I wasn't really too sure what to expect from this. This is the first like major franchise piece that Disney Plus has done that's not based on a Star Wars property or a Marvel property. This is the first thing that's like based on a pre-existing Disney franchise. It's a really well budgeted show. The production values are great. It feels like you're watching a movie. And that's what I love about these shows that are heading to streaming now. And we know even though the budget may not be exorbitant on this, it's going to be a really good budget because Disney really wants to put out quality product. And this is proof of it. If this is any indication of this kind of family content that we're going to get on Disney Plus going forward, man, I'm all for it because I, I really enjoyed this. I'm really hesitant to shove a rating on this uh, considering I've only seen the first three episodes. But I'm gonna do it, but keep in mind that this rating only applies to these first three shows. This show could absolutely fall to garbage <laughs> with the remaining episodes. I doubt that very much because the direction it's going is is really is really welcoming and I'm I'm really excited to see where it goes. And at that, I will be rating the first three episodes of Mighty Ducks Game Changers a four out of five. So far, The Mighty Ducks Game Changers is shaping up to be an incredibly welcome and original reboot of a Disney classic franchise. Filled with the heart of the originals and a whole fistful of added soul, it's a series that, so far, has something for old fans and new viewers alike. And at that, thanks to my amazing friends over at Disney Plus for providing me with the first three episodes of Mighty Ducks Game Changers for the purposes of this review. And thanks everybody out there for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Hey everyone, if you haven't yet, smash that big old subscribe button up on your screen to keep up to date with all my content and hit that like button down below. Also don't forget to check me out on social media and please consider supporting me over on Patreon for as little as a dollar a month for exclusive videos, early access content and to get your name up on the screen. Thanks again for watching.